Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Abdul Modat. And today I have this uh, wonderful save that I want to like share with you guys today, uh, featuring Kid Chris Uprising. So yeah, let's get our, let's get right into it. So first of all, we have like three save files. All of them are pretty much the same thing. In case you're wondering, you got Pit, Palatina, and Bree. Um, all of them completed at 101 percent, but it's actually more than like 101 percent. We get into like why that is. First thing I want to get into is um, story mode. So first of all, I have like very very low time here. In case you're wondering, I'm on an old 3DS, so this is basically just the loading time. And then everything else here, you have gold lore at the uh, top left. High score is maxed out. Enemies defeated. The the number four numbers defeated is also uh, maxed out. And then highest intensity is well 9.0 also if it defeat one more enemy in any of these chapters this game would actually glitch out and the fact that like um instead of showing a number it's just completely blank the enemy defeated it's just gonna be like a blank next thing i want to go through is the treasure hunt so here at the treasure hunt all these challenges are completed all the feathers are there for Hades, Viridi, and Palatina. So, you can thank me later. Everything is done here. Now, gear. We're gonna go through gear like a little bit later. But now, I wanna show you um, Power Portrait. So, Power Portrait is complete. This is proof that like I completed every single, like I got every single power in the game. Plus one extra that we're gonna go through a little bit later. Also, we have Offering. In case you're wondering what Offering is, Offering really just does nothing. At the start of the game, um, the character would just like not even be there at the far back but then the more you the more you offer uh, the farther it will walk towards you so here I have it like maxed out I can't even like offer like one more heart so that's already maxed out so up there you have like seven nines that's also the amount of hearts that you can actually carry out once so hearts are also maxed out and now in case you're wondering I did the same thing for Palatina as well So, I'm going to show you that 7 nines, I'm going to offer a 1, but it doesn't work. So, that's already completed. Next thing I want to go through real quick is the music gallery. So, music gallery, I have like pretty much every single song in the game. I mean, there's no like hidden like story or anything like that. So, that's not really surprising, but you know, that's there for you like on completionists out there. Next thing I want to go through is the idols. So here, for those for those of you who are aware of the numbers of number of idols that are in the game, there's supposed to be 410, but right here I have 412. So I'm gonna show you that why in a sec. So right off the bat, you see that I have 255 uh, idols for each single like idol in the game. Also, there's like this little camera icon like next to it. That means I have scanned each and every single one of these idols into the game it's either you want to lock the um, the idol in the game and then scan it or you can scan it and then unlock it by that, that method so one thing I want to go through right now is why there's 412 not 410 so first off we have Medusa Rare over here Medusa Rare is basically this um, unused idol they made it but then they never really released the card so no one's able to scan the card so that's one of them. The other one is Pit Victory. So it's Pit showing off his victory pose. Pretty cool. Something that he did at the end of the game. But that was never really an idol because of the same reason. Um, they never released the card for it. Even if it's just Japanese only, they never released either of these cards. So yeah. Next thing I want to go through is this Kid Icarus Float. Now this is something not that many Americans or like European people know. So it's, it's like this festival in Japan, right? And at this special event, they actually gave out these like special Kid Icarus flow cards that you can use in game. So if you want to buy it online, that's like super expensive because it's like this one time event. But I have it scanned, I have like 255 idols of this one card or like idol, whatever. So yeah, that's that's a thing. So you're welcome for that. Next thing I want to go through real quick is the records. So as you can see here, records are like maxed out, everything is 999. Uh, time is like a thousand hours, that's maxed out. Current number of weapons I have is all the weapons I can get in the game, which is 108. 
I'm pretty sure I have every single one of those weapons. Also, for powers, I also have 209, not 208. Like I said earlier, I have, I have like this special power. I'm gonna go through that a little bit later. Honestly, it's not really much, but it's there. But the further down we go, everything is like maxed out. Everything is 99 uses, 99 die, 99 nine times, and whatever it is. Play time with friends, if with anyone. Thousand hours. Street pass is also complete. Everything is like at that number, so yeah, I really did get like everything. So you're welcome for that. Now, something I want to go over that's slightly controversial, not in the story mode, but like in together mode, is this gear thing. So recording powers, I have like every single power here in the game. As you saw in my saw like the power port, I have everything, but the one thing that not everyone has is this mystery power. So only a select few people can like actually like own it to begin with so that could be you um you could be one of those few people to like use the uh, mystery power um in case you're wondering what this mystery power does it doesn't really do much um i tried um using a cheat that forces me to be able to like equip any any number of powers i want max of 12 that didn't work out i tried using like save editor by hand aka hxd you know shout out to those people those guys are amazing uh, i tried using hxd that also didn't work out. I don't know. I couldn't switch out the currently equipped power with this power. Maybe it was like the wrong number or something, but that didn't work out. So, I mean, I guess mystery is going to stay as a mystery forever. Next thing we have is power set 1. So, as you can see, I have all 12 slots filled with like the power that are, that's at the max. So, as you can see, there's like nothing here, but all these powers are like there. So, if you want to play like story mode with like these, like buff powers you can go right ahead next thing I want to go through is the weapons so I have every single weapon in the game every single weapon has a value of 474 range and melee is at 6 stars we all have shot range plus 3 shot homing plus 3 dash charge plus 4 running speed plus 4 and evasion plus 4 and freezing plus 4 so they're all pretty much like the same thing it, like each weapon is different on its own, so it depends on like what your playstyle is. Now the next thing you're wondering is, yeah, I I want these like really good weapons. Now like, what's it like to actually use it? Well, if I'm gonna break it to you, it's not really that good. Okay, I've consulted with like a pro before, and he said that like, um, really powerful weapons in a game actually play out as like base weapons, which is basically like 100 uh, weapon value kind of game. So it's not. It, it looks good, but it's not that good. Like you said, the powers don't actually work out or something like that. I don't know why. I'm not an expert at the game, but you guys can go check it out if you want. Now, something that you might notice up there is that like there's like, all these crowns and like star medals and uh, jewels, swords, and stuff like that. That's basically the number of, I believe, victories that I have. Um, so, everything is like maxed out. That's basically because of like the, the records. You know, by modifying like one part of the records, I have all that out there for display. The last thing I want to show you is the gear that I have. So, I'm going to show you the power sets that I have for each weapon. Now, I do want you to please use this responsibly. Um, like, I don't want you to get, like, report or anything. Even though I don't think that's going to be, like, the case. But please don't, like, go ahead and screw people over. Don't, like, find, like, this kid like, cheat code. And then, like, um compile it by yourself with like dark flares um ntr plugin compiler thing so you can play online like please don't use that and like screw people over you already have this you already have a really good weapon um so i don't think it's really like worth it to actually go out of your way and like get something that's like like already outside the game but even more outside the game if you know what i mean um so i have these power sets for like every single weapon now keep in mind not all of them are like really good it's like there's three or four that are just like troll or like just for fun. It's not really that good. I just want to change change things up a little bit. Um, but overall, you have all these. Do I think it's kind of unfair? Yes. Um, mainly because like you can use powers more than other people. But is it hard to use at the same time? Yes. Like for example, you want to use like slip shot, invisible shot. That's like the fifth and sixth. No, that's like sixth and seventh power that you have in the set so in order to use it you have to tap like left or right like six or seven times depending on which direction you want to go in 
So you have to do that while you're moving, or you can just stand there and get hit while you're trying to change uh, powers and stuff. And you have to memorize which powers is like in your set. You have to memorize how many times you have to click it. And you have to play with like a cloth style so you don't get hit and stuff like that. And you can't like dodge at the same time. Like it's very, very complicated. So I guess it kind of bounces out. But like at the same time, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. That's up for you to decide. Just because I'm giving all this power doesn't mean you have to abuse it. Okay. But all this is there for just for fun. Okay. I don't think it's that hard to actually like like I don't I think it's actually pretty hard to like screw somebody over like yes you can click like whatever you want as many times as you want you can use like I don't know play dead Pisces like so many times like you could use that but like at the same at the end of the day you can still get defeated you know you still run out of powers eventually so they could just like wait and sit there you waste your powers and then they go after you when you're like vulnerable or whatever so is it unfair like I don't know it's debatable it really is debatable weapons too so yeah you have like all these really good weapons and power sets that you can use um so what's fair is up to like, the community to, to decide I'm giving you the same not not to screw people over, but like for you to have your own fun it's up to you how you want to use it and this is the last power set that I have to show you so these last two is pretty much like joke sets like for this one you got sky jump jump glide rocket jump angel missile super speed warp and then you got like tirelessness and um lightweight so you can just run around your friends and stuff just like you know, like troll them you have darkness so they can't really see you they can't hit you and then you got like fortune jukebox to, like taunt them and stuff and then for this one set number 15 it's basically the same thing, you have like the two taunts, you have like item vacuums, you can just suck all their items away, screw them over a little bit. Um, it's not, like some of these sets are kind of too unfair, some of the sets are, like, have like really broken powers, but like, I don't know man. Using it's pretty hard, I can't even like use powers, like, correctly, like it's like, I'm trying to use like the right power, but then I end up using the wrong one, or like get hit and stuff like that, so it's kind of hard. But I mean, I don't know, I'm no pro, okay? You're hearing this from a hacker, not a pro. So, yeah, I think it's debatable. Also, I feel like more, if a lot of hack people have like this hack safe that I have, then this becomes like the new meta. Like that's that's kind of how I see it. But I mean, that's ultimately up to the, the community again. So if you made it this far to the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to read the description for how to get the save. How to save um, for download. Um, the description also show you how to um inject the save just make sure that you have the backup of your save you can use either checkpoint or jksm to um in inject the save or like export the save you know backing up and stuff like that so please use this responsibly P please be careful and stuff like that are you gonna get banned probably not it's not really a super competitive game although it could be nintendo doesn't really care uh your name could be changed like for example i have Pip Palatine and Viridi over here. So that's the name that they see when you're playing. They're not gonna see like your name like David or whatever. So they can't like actually like find you. They can't find your actual screen name because this is what the screen name actually is. So yeah, please use this responsibly. Um for for, for those of you who don't have a hack 3DS, uh, I mean yeah, you, it's it's kind of um I don't know, kind of missing out honestly. So if you if you're ha if you're a person without hack videos, I recommend yet yeah, you do hack it. Um, please don't use like please don't update your videos if you already if you haven't already. If you're on like 11.6, all you need to do is buy like a two dollar DS game and then you can just hack it. If you're on 11.7, you can just um, get Steel Miner and then use Seed Miner to do that. 11.8 has just been released three days ago as of this recording, so you gotta stay tuned for that. It's gonna be really hard to like hack it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a big fat like and a big fat sub if you haven't already. Uh, I'll be probably uploading like two more save videos uh, throughout the week. Um, Sushi Strikers and uh, the other one being Fire Emblem Echoes uh, Shadow of Lantia. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.